Hello my discoverer friend, welcome to another narrator walk with me. Today we are doing a walk at Setia Spines. This is a multi-purpose facility in Bayan Baru, Penang. First, let me give you our starting point coordinates. Key these coordinates into your GPS, Google Maps or Waze to be navigated to the start of this walk. For today's walk, we will go around Setia Spice in a clockwise direction. Of the many components of this facility, the most famous, I suppose, is the one you are seeing right in front of us now. That's the Setia Convention Center with its iconic roof. The roof is made of 1,600 glass panels, each cut to a different size, so that together, they form a graceful curve. A powerful computer was used to calculate the dimension of every panel. The roof is freestanding. It is supported only on either ends without any columns or pillars in between. Affixed on the roof are 654 LED lights which are computer controlled. At nightfall, it offers a fantastic light display. We've arrived at the main signage of Setia Spice Convention Center. From here, we can get a good view of the iconic roof. This area was once the entrance and driveway to Pisa or Penang International Sports Arena. The facility underwent a massive makeover and was rebranded Spice. I will explain why it is called Spice in a short while. The high rise in front of us is a 4 star hotel. It is the final component of the Setia Spice complex. The pandemic has delayed its opening. At the height of the pandemic, Setia Spice was one of the vaccination centers. For that reason, today's walk will only cover the exterior of Setia Spice. Perhaps in the future, I will do another walk to show you the inside. We are at the boundary between Bayan Baru and Relau. Across the main road is Relau, and on this side is Bayan Baru. The road is Jalan Tun Dr. Awang, named after the late Tun Dr. Awang bin Hassan, who served as the fifth young Dipetua Negeri Pulau Pinang from 1981 to 1989. Over here, we have Relau on the left and Bayan Baru on the right. Here's the driveway to the foyer of the convention center. It is closed due to COVID. The convention center itself is underground. The driveway slopes downwards to the foyer behind the signage. That's why it's called SPICE, which is the acronym for Subterranean Penang International Conference and Exhibition Center. And right in front of us now is the new hotel which forms the hospitality component of Setia Spines. The hotel is called Amari Spines Penang. Its opening has been delayed by the pandemic. In all likelihood, it may finally open in August or September 2022, which is later this year. Penang Island is a densely populated and highly compact place. The neighbourhoods are often squashed together. Beyond that T-junction in front of us, Bayan Baru gives way to Sungai Nibong Kecil, while further down, Rolau gives way to Bukit Jambu.
we are going to turn right here into an offshoot of Persiaran Masuri. Here's the almost completed Amari Spice Penang. It will be a four-star hotel offering 453 guest rooms. We now have Bayan Baru on our right and Sungai Nibong Kecil on our left. In the old days, this area was called Ong Lai Hui, which means Pineapple Garden. Ong Lai Hui is a place in Sungai Nibong Kecil, which is in Bayan Lepas, which is in the southwest district of the city of Penang Island. A look at Amari Spice Penang from the side. I believe the main entrance of the hotel will be here. If we go back in time by a few decades, we will see an area covered with orchards and vegetable farms at the edge of the paddy fields which are now the township of Bayan Baru. In just a short span, this area has transformed from a countryside into an urban neighbourhood. The village houses at Ong Lai Hui made way for development in the mid-1980s and today we have a small housing estate here known as Taman Melati Jaya. The entire area can be considered Bayan Baru, but strictly speaking, Taman Melati Jaya is in Sungai Nibo Kecil. If you compare it to the main road we passed just now, this area is much quieter with much less traffic passing through. In front of us is the Persiaran Masuri Roundabout. It was created as part of the Setia Spice development. And across the road from the roundabout, recently repainted in blue, is the head office of PDC or Penang Development Corporation. The PDC was founded by then Chief Minister, the late Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu on 17 November 1969 to serve as the development arm of the Penang State Government. It was instrumental in the founding of the Township of Bayan Baru, among others, as well as for bringing in multinational corporations to set up their plants in Penang. Here we see the nearly completed Amari Spice Penang and next to it, Taman Melati Jaya. In memory of the chief minister who founded BDC, its head office building was renamed Bangunan Tun Dr. Lim Chong Yu. We are now in Bayan Baru proper. Today it is one of Penang's major townships, but just a few decades ago, this area was badly fields. To create the township that we see today, the paddy fields had to be drained and filled up in order to build over it. Starting at Jalan Sultan Aslan Shah, which at that time was simply known as the main road, the trunk road or Jalan Besar, the first road was created to serve Bayan Baru. To recall that that area was formerly paddy land, that road was named Jalan Masuri after a strain of rice. With each phase of development, Jalan Masuri was extended until it eventually connected with Jalan Tun Dr. Awang, which itself was laid as an offshoot to then Jalan Sungai Arang. On the right side of the road is Spice Arena, which was originally known as the Penang International Sports Arena or PISA. The main arena at PISA was completed in the year 2000. It measures 255 feet long and 135 feet wide. It has a capacity of 10,000 spectators and was frequently used for concerts and banquets. Most of these activities came to a halt with the COVID-19 pandemic and for a while, the arena became a major vaccination centre. On our left is GBS at Masuri, the second in a series of MSC status office buildings built by the PDC for rent to multinational corporations for their office use. 
GBS, which stands for Global Business Services, are office buildings with digital infrastructure demanded by MNCs. This particular facility has Clarivate and Cisco as tenants. By the way, if you enjoy this type of narrated walking tours where I take you to places and explain them to you, please take a moment to like and share this video so that the information can be enjoyed by more people. And subscribe to my YouTube channel for videos like this. We have reached the intersection between Perseran Masuri and Jalan Masuri. This intersection is quite congested during the morning and evening rush hours with commuters plying between places like Sungai Ara, Relau and Ayat Itam with the factories in Bayan Lepas. In Bayan Baru, as is elsewhere in Penang, the oldest buildings are also the shortest while the tallest ones are furthest away from the main road. With that said, you notice that right beside Jalan Sultan Azlan Shah are one-story terrace houses, but along this stretch of Jalan Masuri are the newest and tallest high-rises in the area. In front of us are the Arena Residence, Olive Tree Residences and Olive Tree Hotel. Now let's walk along Jalan Masuri with Spice Arena to our right. When Jalan Masuri was laid out in the early 70s, it was just a two-lane road. In fact, this stretch of Jalan Masuri was only created much later. Today, it has become a six-lane road and a major link between the central part of Penang Island and the MNCs of Bayan Lepas. Here's a good view of Spice Arena. It underwent refurbishment in recent years. Before the pandemic, it was a popular venue for Mata Fair and other trade fairs and exhibitions. Now let me go up the overhead bridge to give you a better view of the area. In front of us is Setia Spice Aquatic Center with Spice Canopy on the left. And over here is Olive Tree Hotel and Olive Tree Residences behind it. And on this side is of course Spice Arena. My plan is to document every location, every neighborhood in Penang so that in future, whatever place information you need, you can get it directly from my YouTube channel. It will take a lot of planning and research and a lot of time too, but I will enjoy doing it and I hope you will also enjoy following me on these virtual tours.
Now let's turn in and do a walk around Spice Arena. We will not be going indoors. I will do that one day when the pandemic situation improves. Now we have the Aquatic Centre on our left and Spice Arena on our right. The Aquatic Centre has an Olympic-sized swimming pool as well as a children's water park. On the left is the ramp to the basement car park of the Spice Convention Centre. And on the right is the pedestrian ramp to the main entrance of Spice Arena. Here are the temporary selfie booths when this place was used as vaccination centre. And over here is the drop-off point for visitors coming by public vehicles. Here's the Spice Bar Station. How incredible that there's even a little shrine on the side for the Earth Spirit or Datokong. Here's one of the entrances to the Spice Convention Center, but as you can see, it's locked.
Having made a full circle around Spice Arena, let's continue to Spice Canopy. This is the commercial component of the Spice Complex. Spice Canopy has two entrances. This is the foyer facing Jalan Masuri. We are now approaching the T-junction between Jalan Masuri and Jalan Tun Dr. Awang. We have so far walked around the whole Setia Spice Complex. And with that, we are reaching the end of today's narrated walking tour. Across the road from here is Medan Bayan. I also have a narrated walking tour of it. You can follow that tour by clicking on the link on the top right. Well, my friend, if you enjoyed this walk, please like and share it and subscribe to my channel to be notified of my latest videos. Thanks for watching and see you soon!